a tax lawyer. A tax lawyer? Yes, yeah, for a big company. Yes. For a big company? Yeah. Hi, good morning. What's your name? My name is Jackie. Hi, Jackie. Tell us, what do you do for a living? So, I work in media strategy and business development for the National Football Okay, we're just going to have the camera on me. You're going to enjoy this face. Lucky you and you're going to be able to hear our conversation. Welcome back to another public interview, guys. I'm currently in Greenwich, Connecticut, specifically on Greenwich Ave. I'm going to show you guys behind me. I'm at the top of the hill, and I'm going to work my way down the hill and just try to speak to some of the locals and ask them a couple of questions that could probably inspire one of you. It's going to be along the lines of what they do for a living, any advice they have to give, and maybe their salary. But one, do I, one that I really want to ask is, do they have any regrets? One, what's one of their biggest regrets? So guys, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and let's get into this video. Hi, good morning. What's your name? My name is Jackie. Hi, Jackie. Tell us, what do you do for a living? So I work in media strategy and business development for the National Football League. Okay, interesting. And what advice can you give for someone that wants to get into this field? My advice would be really just to talk to everyone that you can talk to. It's uh, Sports is definitely a hard industry to get into. There's not that many roles available, and so it's a lot about just getting to know people and getting them to know your story and why you can get the job. Sounds good. And if you'd like to answer, What's one of your biggest regrets uh, throughout your career? Um, biggest regrets? There's nothing that jumps out because I feel like I've been pretty lucky and intentional in my career thus far. I think, you know, more recently, I would say, you know, more recently I'm a mother. So that's just like a recent thing that I'm trying to balance and then think deeply about is how do I balance the amount of time that I'm working, you know, in, in the office versus time to at home. So it's still something that I'm trying to figure out. Sounds good. All right, well, thanks for stopping and answering some questions. Yeah, sounds good. So I'm getting a lot of people that don't want their face on camera, but they're willing to speak to me and have a conversation. So we're just going to have the camera on me. You're going to enjoy this face. Lucky you. And you're going to be able to hear our conversation. So hopefully you enjoy this content, guys. Smash the like button. Let's go. Hi, good morning. What's your name? Debbie. Debbie. So I have Debbie in front of me right now, but she don't, doesn't want to be recorded. But we're going to still ask her some of these questions that she's going to answer. So Debbie, what do you do for a living? I'm a life coach and an artist. A life coach and an artist. What advice can you give for someone that wants to get into this field? Well, I, I say look at what courses are being given uh -huh. and see if they kind of vibe with you. Right. And kind of take it from there. And it's also... I got into it naturally. I was kind of doing it and helping people reach their goals without knowing what I was doing. Okay. And I realized that there's a profession attached to that. Got it. So how many years have you been doing it? Uh, a little less than 20, probably 18. 18. And last question is, what's one of your biggest regrets career-wise? I don't really have any. No regrets? Yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> there's still time. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for stopping and answering some questions. Sure, good luck to you. All right. Good morning. What's your name? Dina. Hi. Hi, Dina. What do you do for a living, or what did you do for a living? I still do. I'm a tax lawyer. A tax lawyer? Yes. For a big company. Yes. For a big company? Yeah. Um, what advice can you give for someone that wants to get into this field? Um, it's really fun. It's more fun than you think. If you like business, you want to be a tax lawyer because you're always at the table. So I suggest that you, know, you start with something like I'm a philosophy major. Go to law awesome. school, you can go to accounting, you can do it in a lot of different ways. It's really fun. And they need, they need people in the industry. Got so. it. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. And the final question is what's one of the biggest, one of your regrets in your career so far? learning keep your mind open keep learning okay well i appreciate you answering some questions and enjoy no the rest of your day yeah take care thanks your name Uma. 
Uma. Now, Uma doesn't want to be on camera, so we're just gonna have her, you know, listen in. So, what do you do for a living? Uh, right now, I'm retired. You're retired? What yeah. did you do? I was in software development. And what companies, what was one of your, your best companies that you worked for? I worked for HP. HP? Okay, and what advice can you give for someone that wants to get into software engineering? Um, well, I think that uh, if you have an interest in computers, uh -huh. uh, I think you should pursue it. Um, yeah. And it's never too late to get for into sure. it, whether it's high school or college or even afterwards, because there are many programs uh, right. offered through a continuing edu education or uh -huh. otherwise. So I think that uh, it's, it's if you have an interest in it, it's mm. pretty easy to pursue it. Okay. And the last question: What regrets or one regret do you have throughout your career? I think the one regret I would have is in software development. It's very easy to uh, have a goal of being satisfied with your work, and for me, it was all about what do I do every day at the job and uh, so I sought interesting projects I've worked in all segments all industries I have 18 plus years of experience mm -hmm. and when I think back I think I didn't manage my promotions very well so I think that just because you're in software just because the hierarchy is maybe not that important or very flat yeah. doesn't mean that you try to elevate yourself at every step because right. I think that would be my regret is I didn't manage up right. I was very focused on getting the client satisfaction getting you know good teams together and working on things that interested me right. but it's very important that you manage up and always stay focused on Eventually, you might want to be in leadership roles. Yeah. You might want to get into a different branch, like the business aspect of it. Right. And Which you is, need I, to. I enjoy the business part. And you need to have that flexibility. So don't stay just focused in your day-to-day -day work and trying to learn new things, innovate. All that is important. Yeah. But also manage up. Right. All right. Well, I appreciate you answering some questions and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Good luck. So guys, I'm going to end it here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this content. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned for some more videos.